here. I passed this guard. One of the most frustrating things is not being able to pass. Is not being able to submit them. Uh, you get stalled out a lot. Okay. So the most available option is the Americana Kimura option on the far arm. Okay. So when I'm right here, he's framing as he should. I'm always going to look to swim inside the bicep to create an opportunity here. First opportunity is always the Americana. Okay, I'm going to use my other hand to swim between my chin and his wrist and pin his hand to the mat here. This is a very strong grip. Okay, standard Americana here. I slide underneath, I curl my wrist, drive my elbow to his neck, paintbrush, and elevate elbow. But as you guys know, Americanas don't always pan out. Okay, so one other thing I want to think about is that the Americana is there because what he will do as I swim inside his bicep. I look to pin his wrist, is he will run his wrist away essentially. Boom, but I can track it, okay? Because the, there's force coming up from the ground, so this is a very strong grip. Jeff likes to call it the magic grip, or maybe it's not him, maybe it's somebody else that came up with that, but it's the magic grip. It's basically like the normal force, which is a physics term, the, the ground is pushing up, uh, that's very powerful. And then all I have to do is control his left and right movement. As he tries to move here, I can track him along the ground, so it's pretty strong. Okay, so what's gonna happen is he's gonna run away to the lower side, and I can track it all the way to the Americana position, where I switch my hand, and I swim underneath here. Okay, and then for a standard Americana, all we gotta do is get over to a head straddle. So I'm gonna do a hip switch, get over, and then I'm going to drive my knee to his back to pick him up, and then feed his hand to his shoulder blade and his elbow to his hips. Yeah. Okay, but the main part of this is creating that wrist trap <clears throat> around the, uh, using, using the force of the ground that's pushing up, okay? It's very easy and effortless. You don't have to use a lot of strength. So I swim inside here and I threaten the Americana, but he runs away. Well, I track. I track on one hand, pass it off to the other, okay? And I'm just trying to get my fingers on one side and the heel of my palm on the other. Okay, so you can try to run around a little bit, AJ. Okay, I can track him pretty well with either hand. This is very strong right here, really run away. Okay, so use the ground, okay? Um, sometimes though, okay, on the Americana, I mean on the Kimura, you, click, you can't clear their, their hand, okay? So we're gonna go with uh, an ultra Kimura option here, okay, where I'm going to look to step over his head just like before, okay, but I still can't clear it. I'm going to post his knee on the ground, do a little bit of a turn, and I'm going to whip my right leg over his legs like so to create a lot of force. One option will go belly down where I curl his legs, bridge my hips, this will clear his hips, and then I just elevate the elbow. Option number two is the fallback. Once again, I can't clear his hip here. Okay, so I'm gonna pivot, step over his legs, and now I'm just gonna fall back. He's gonna come on top of me here. Once again, it's a bridging motion to break his grip. Tap. And get the tap. Okay, so I wanna highlight again the wrist trap that starts with the Americana. Okay, when you're stalled out, even if you're thinking about chokes, this helps with chokes too, you wanna to swim inside the bicep. Okay, that also opens up his neck more, as opposed to when he's framed up. I can't really get on his neck. He can swim this inside my armpit. Okay, there's no neck access. But once I pin his bicep here, he can't really protect his neck for guillotine and north-south chokes. So first thing, pin the bicep. Next is create that dilemma by tracking the wrist here. Okay, so he can be tight here. By the way, I'm looking to pin that wrist. He tries to run away. Okay, now I have. It's my game. Okay, there's some straight arm locks here too, pretty fun. Um, ultimately though, we're going to end with the Ultra Kimura. Okay, he's hiding his hand on his hip. This is a big problem, you can't clear that hip. They're strong, they didn't, they didn't miss bicep day. Okay, so I'm going to step over his head here. Let's try it again, connect my elbows to my ribs. It's still not happening. Okay, got to use the Ultra Kimura. So I'm going to look to, I'm going to, end up facing his backside, because you might get confused, you might end up going this way, just think of it, my face has to be facing his backside. So I'm gonna whip my 
right leg over his hips. You got to use a little bit of a whipping motion to get it over. Okay, so it's not just going to quite insert. And right here, he's going to kind of decide where to go. If he stays flat, I'll just go belly down. Post on my forehead. Okay, curl his legs and his head. Bridge my hips. Okay, and then it's just his hand is pinned to the mat, so I just use elbow, elbow elevation to get the finish. Okay. And then the belly up ultra kimura. And okay. you use a, let's rotate a little bit. I'm going to use a bit of a whip, but he builds up now. Once again, active leg curls, biting his head, biting his legs. Bridge my hips. So I lean back, bridge my hips, break, and finish. Alright, so that is the start with the Americana Kimura Dilemma situation. Pin the wrist, start with pinning the bicep, then pin the wrist. And then we're going to use the Ultra Kimura to deal with the uh, clearing the waistline problem. Let's try it. One, two, three.